Well, lovely sunny morning here. Uh, well, time wise, just coming up for 25 past. No, just coming up for half past 12. So we're starting our day off right. Uh, I've had a bit of time thinking about my father. Um, just checking out a few things that are going on around the world as well. Um, a mm, few issues going on, but same old, same old with the conflicts at the moment. But uh, at least we know why now, because why they're causing all those distractions. They're uh, shutting down bank machines. and sneaking in the new control measures for people's access to cash. I saw it myself when I went down the bank last week. The ATMs in the bank, on, stressing people out because they're unusable, leaving only the new machine on the new 5G grid. Uh, for you to put money in the bank and take money out the bank. From the cashiers, you can only take out £500 plus. So, most people are not able to use that facility and talk to an actual person because that, that's been taken away from them now. You have to do it all automatically. Um, and that's a very dangerous step as you all know because if you uh, upset those in charge they then can switch off your access to money once it's all digital and they control it so why would a person knowing that's coming Be getting hunting equipment for putting food in the freezer. Now it's starting to make sense, isn't it? So you either pay attention and survive, or you don't. Because if the, if you want to survive, you've either got to be very very compliant and follow every rule which is going to be nigh and impossible to do because bit by bit they're changing it all to make it impossible for you to do that so they are in total control and the towers that you see popping up around the council estates in the UK yeah, it's for fast rent and next speed so you can download stuff, isn't it? And play your games. Until they stop the games. And it then turns into what? Your electronic open prison. Just by them switching the frequency. From game mode to surveillance monitoring mode your mobile device what you'll be carrying will be pinging your location at every time you walk past one of the 5G lampposts or one of the towers into your 15 minute cities where you're allowed to be for 15 minutes and then you have to go back to your dwelling place. So quick out, get your shopping, get back in your cell. And if you don't, then obviously the boot boys will come get you and put you in another cell. Because you won't have no money and you will be perceived then as having no funds to support yourself so you will 
uh, more than likely commit a crime. So prevention, in you go, bye bye. That's what's coming. Which is then slavery, isn't it? Slavery in prison or outside prison. Total slavery, total state control. But I'm not going to dwell on that shit today because once people wake up to it properly about what it implies and they realise it is creeping in already, then they're going to turn around and say, get my money out of the bank quick. And there's going to be a run on the banks. Banks are going to start seizing people's bank accounts to bail themselves in with the new banking law that they snuck in a few years ago. People's bank account funds over £5,000 then start disappearing because the banks take the money from the customer, not the government this time. People start losing all their hard-earned savings and start attacking the banks. Then they start going for the government that allowed it all to happen. And before the New World Order is set up, it's destroyed. Because people won't fucking have it. It's already happening across Europe. That's what all the rioting and protesting is about. Increased pension aids. Increased taxation. To pay for the wars. Access to cash being slowly squeezed out. All to distract from the bankers that fund the wars with your money. So, yeah, it's all going to come to a head soon once people work out what's going on. But for now, we're just going to assess the situation, watch it slowly unfold, and then when people have made their minds up, they say, yeah, we can see it too now. What the fuck are we going to do? We've got to stop this before it becomes reality. So, it's wakey-wakey time, people. Don't get distracted by the news stories or the dramas in your local areas because they are all distractions. Trust your instincts now. It was a lovely day here yesterday. Enjoyed a bit of football. A friend came round to watch some football as well. Thoroughly enjoyable game. Yeah, very entertaining. And then um, had a few beers. Had a lovely madras with uh, egg and pea fried rice before the football. I started my day off yesterday watching the... Uh, I had a link on uh, watching the football. I don't have Sky TV or live TV, so... I watched it on a football link online and had the commentary going from YouTube on Lions TV. Lions TV. Uh, so I started my day off with the Millwall match. Then heard the Millwall chanting on the supporters from the sidelines after saying to my friend whose supporter was a Millwall fan as well. You know what I mean? All cheering on the Suns teams. So that was good to hear in that as well. He got it straight away. 
just nodded silently. Yeah, it's all about fathers helping fathers out, keeping their sons out of mischief, keeping everything good and proper in life. I was once in my friend's position and now my friend's on the right path in life, same as I'm trying to uh, guide my children. Some people naturally get it, if you see what I mean. Some people take a little bit more time to get it because they're not thinking right. But at the end of it all, it all comes down to distractions and money, and it? That's what it comes down to, so. When you get bullying over money, it's like, nah, you ain't fucking happening at all. So, you have to take a firm stance on that, don't you? Especially if you've uh, got to protect your own. You know what I mean? Ain't that right, Marnie? You've got to protect your pack, your family. So that's what we're doing. I'm not having no uh, stupidness like I've been hearing. I've already weighed up the pros, the cons, assessed how it will play out if that was to occur. And so I already know how I'm going to be dealing with it. So I set clear boundaries. And if you know, the person that's doing all the uh, top boy strutting about the shit, then uh, obviously it's going to end out the way it's played out on that, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, the age-old story of greed and brother against brother, isn't it? You know what I mean? So, you saw how the Top Boy series ended. So, the bully boys always end up getting stopped by the bullied. It's the same in global politics. Look at little Hulk's day, snuggled up like a little puppy today. Come bounding over this morning when I let him in here. So I was sleeping in the hallway last night. My God, while I was sleeping last night, it was an on-off sort of sleep, waking up every freaking couple of hours or whatever. Camera kept switching itself off, and I thought, oh, here we go. Well, I'm, not, I'm gonna turn the fucking camera off, fuck it. Someone's obviously trying to play on the anxiety side of it here, yeah. which uh, tells me, yep. <laughs> it's the electronic interference from those that are organizing the chaos. 
trying to play on anxiety and fear. But I've got dogs and I've got instincts. So the camera doesn't need to be on while we're safe and sound indoors, does it? Oh, there's a bottle of drink now. Squash. Just by the chainsaw that's sitting there. So everything's cool there. And there's a walking cane there with a nut in the top of that for a spear tip. There's an axe down there. So everything's cool. No one's coming through my door. I can hear attention-seeking noises, Willow. You basking in a bit of sunshine down there, little lady. Good girl. And Lola's sitting by the front room, front door window, isn't she? In the bed, what you're not bleeding in. <laughs> and the boys are being kept away from her at the moment. That we're having to do it this way, otherwise we've got horny dogs all, all the time, dripping and... <laughs> so it's constant cleaning at the moment and watching where you stand. Because you don't want to be standing in blood, do you? You know what I mean? So we've got a happy, peaceful pack today. All good. I've had me three scoops of Java. Might get a couple of dog walks in today if we're lucky. Um, just got to work out which way round I'm going to take them, if you see what I mean. I don't want to be walking into any other setups while they uh, test the dogs. I've had Marnie untied at the local shop, but I've asked them yesterday to, next time they check their footage, can they just uh, have a look to when I was there the night before and tell me if anyone un if anyone un approached the dog and unchained him. Or whether he done it himself, please, just for peace of mind. But because he was sitting there waiting for me, he didn't undo that himself. Because I told him to guard and he was sitting there guarding. Went your buddy like a good boy. Yes, you was. Mm. So their little plan failed, didn't it, Marnie? I think you were supposed to run out in the road in front of a car or or bite someone outside the shop or if there happened to be a person walking a dog, which was probably due if I'd have been in the shop any time longer. But I'm sure you was meant to uh, catch a dog walker that was uh, just going to enter the frame after I came out the shop. But yeah. I'm taking that as an attempt to on the dogs after the setup. And the third attempt that I catch will be punished on the spot. Because I'm expecting it. So I am going to catch them. It would be the same if someone's playing a game with my child's life, wouldn't it? You know what I mean? If I can see it coming, it's going to be stopped before it happened, I'm telling you. Hmm, 
What are you waiting for, little Hulkster? You want to Hulk smash them ladies, don't you? Don't you, you horny little man, you? Mm -hmm. What are you waiting for, then? You're waiting for good boy sweeties, aren't you? Oh. Have we got any left? Have we? Have we got good boy sweeties left? Have we? What do you want, marrowbone ones? What sweeties do you want? The ones in the tub? Or the meaty sweeties? Oh, it's the meaty sweeties, is it? <laughs> oh, that's it. Go on, pull me fucking clothes on the floor. What? You want a meaty sweetie too, do you? Mrah. Mrah. Alright, alright, alright. Hang on. Hang on. I'm not sure how many's left yet. Oh, how many's on here? Well, we, hang on, hang on. Get moved before you flick the ashtray over. How many we got left in it? Oh, there's four. So that means you only get one today. Mm. Let me get out of my bed first. I've got to go and sort the girls out as well. Oh. Mm. Are you first, are you, Mark? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Good boys. <gasps> Look at my bouncy little girls. There you go. Come on in, get off your ass, fatty. There you go, good girl. Mm. Sciatic nerve issue. Let's pop that in the front room quickly. It's cleaning up day again. Beer cans. Mmm, smells of uh, madras in here from yesterday. Go on, happy girl. No bouncing and barking. Yeah, gate shut. Good girl. Lola, stop licking that. Get out. It will make you sick. Mm. I'm not saying where I was trying to not turn the fucking fuse off last night because someone pulled that. Let's get that out of the way. Some fucking oil slipped on the floor. But it's a cosmetic oil. female relatives left here ages ago and I had it up on the top of the thing up here and it fell off yeah so I've currently got no light in my bathroom 
because I had to take the bulb out. Here's someone pulled the fucking switch thing out. So, I've currently got no lighting in the bathroom at the moment. But it's not a problem. Got a hallway light on. You don't want a light behind you while you're having a shower, do you? Right, what are you doing, little lady? You drinking that dirty water, are you? Get up the garden, go toilet. Stop being so dirty. Licking oil off the floor, drinking dirty water. Oh, you're going to give me a nightmare on that hallway floor, aren't you? yesterday didn't I? Oh dear. Right. Beer cans upside down draining in the sink first. the whole carpet off yesterday quickly but it's done the job the boys sneaked in here and uh, decided they was going to pee mark on the floor in front of Willow's crate because it smelled all bleedy hmm. right just got to do a bit of cleaning up <sighs> No, no, it's not funny mood, so all good. I don't drink enough for that. Uh, that'd be a good anyway. Watcha, Lola. Watcha. Come on in, in you go. Get off. In. Come on. Come on in. <laughs> Hello. Here's my bouncy little happy girl. Go on in, in you go. Let's see what we got ya. Mm -hmm. I'd rather the coffee go over than that. They're quite expensive light bulbs. Yeah. So I had a few nephapams yesterday while I was drinking the beer and quite enjoyable without overdoing it but at least I was pain free liquid if you see what I mean go on move 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 good boy right next time you're doing a bit of slurping on the bedding can you Try not to make it so sloppy on the bedding, please. I just stood in that.
felt a bit peey, not just slurpy. So I guess I'm washing the dog's bed in today. Yeah. Hang on, dogs. Mind your head, Marnie. Move. Good boy. Uh, come on, I'm standing on pause here. What have I got? Hey, what have we got? What's in here? Hmm, what's in here? Oh, what we got? Good girl. Uh, 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 no snatching this time, gently. That's it. Some gravy bones. And some gravy bones. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make you use your nose. Alright? So we just sprinkle a few around the hallway and then you've got to go and find them. Rushing around rushing around trying to get as many as they can and little competition for them to make them use their nose properly. One's obviously the pig and one's like one right in front of my nose. She's gonna get it. Oh well done Lola! <laughs> well done! Come on in, boys. You don't have to use your nose, do you? you oh, look, you put on me freaking look. I'm all going to be smothered in dog hair now. All right, Marnie. You want one of them? You want one of them, don't you, Hulkster? And then we can have some of them in now. Summon him down there. It's got to be hoovered in here anyway, so what are we doing time wise? 34 minutes. There you go, that'll do you, doggies. Yeah, cool. Got a bag of pack. 
pasta to go with it. Yeah, I don't have to waste three hours on the freaking bus today. All good. Right, look, you flicking dog leads over me floor and everything. Here, look. That's it. You can wait now while I have my cup of coffee. Ugh. Yeah, last night's sleep. Drenched in sweat. That was the beer. That's why I don't like drinking it. Just sweat, sweat, sweat it straight out. Like it's not supposed to be in now. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So as soon as you drink it, it's like, as soon as you go to sleep, it's fucking sweat, sweat, sweat. It's like, what the? And that's why I stopped drinking lager. Because that's what it does. Just makes you sweat. What's the point in that? You lose more body moisture than you drink. Hence all the squash with it. Right, are you going to sit down? Move. Go and sit down then. Be good. Start bouncing as soon as I pick my cut. No, you don't. Get down that end of the bed. Stop licking each other's male bits. Don't get excited by the girls. It's the easiest solution, isn't it? Control yourself. Lay down. Lay down. Come on, I'm waiting to pick my coffee cup up. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Sorry, they're a bit prone to, uh, as soon as I pick my cup up, it'll be. Nudge me elbow. I end up wearing my drink. Yes, you, Hulkster. It's usually you. You had the coffee all in my computer, didn't you, and everything last time, you little shitbag. Mr. Happy Hyper Hulkster. Who wants to Hulk smash the lady dogs? But Marnie won't let him. Because he's boss dog. And they're his bitches as far as he's concerned. They're in my house, they're my bitches. <laughs> and that's what it's like between my sons, between me. The older ones, like. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to you grumbling, because I've got you spot on, and I. And this one, he just wants to be happy, Hulk stuff. So this will be like a Lee, and this will be like a Jack. And you got the two brothers competing for females. And Resources and blah blah blah, you know. And then they have a little brotherly squabble, and then they're all make make up again, and you know what I mean. Fur babies, aren't they? Yeah, you soppy boy, you are, aren't you? A hey, soppy boss dog. A hey, soppy boss dog. Yeah. You love your brother, really, don't you? Hmm. You stop grumbling, Marnie Moo. You stop moaning, Marnie Moo. Or I'll get you. Oh, you want to play, do you? 